Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to do the figure it out questions given on page number 51 and that's 2.11, chapter 2, lines and angles. In each of the below grids, join A to other grid points in the figure by a straight line to get an acute angle. One has been done for us. Now, uh, see here, it's given join A to other grid points. So, first you need to label it as A. So, here let's label this as A. Because we need to join A to other grid points, right? So, let's say this is A and this is B. Previously, also we had a similar question where AB segment was given and we had to draw the angles. So, this is very much similar to that. An acute angle, this is done. Now, this one. First, label it. This is A and B. And then we have to join A. So, acute angle would be like this. And then you make a curve like this. Okay. If you draw like this, this would be a 90 degree angle. So, acute angle is smaller than this. So, it would be like this. Next, we have to draw an obtuse angle. So, let's label this as A. This is B. Okay. Labeling is important because we have to join point A. And then obtuse is more than 90. So, we can do it like this. And then draw a curve to show obtuse angle. Here, this is A. This is B. And obtuse, if I do like this, this would be right angle. So, I will take these three points. This is your obtuse angle. Draw it a straight line. So, this is obtuse angle. Next, we have reflex angle. So, reflex, first label it A, B. And this one also A, B. Reflex is more than 180, less than 360. So, this is 270 and we can draw like this. this angle here okay starting from here till here this is a reflex angle and for this one we can show like this this is the curve okay so this is how you can show the reflex angle moving on to question number two question number two is use a protector to find the measures of each angle then classify each angle as acute, obtuse, right or reflex. So here we have to find out the angles. First angle is angle PTR. Angle P, T and R is given here. So we need to find this angle. Just look at the arrow. It is like this. Starts from here and this is the arrowhead. So this is the amount of rotation. You can place your protector like this or you can place it like this. Anyhow you can do it. And you will get the angle. So, let's place it like this. This is the center and this is the vertex. So, we see this is 30 degrees angle. So, angle PTR is 30 degrees angle and this is an acute angle. Acute angle. Next one is angle PTQ and this is given as PT. This point is Q and it is shown like this. So, this is the amount of rotation. We can place a protector like this. This is your baseline. And we see that's 60 degrees. See the line is coming out here. So, that will be 60 degrees. That's again an acute angle. Next is PTW. PTW. Let's check the arrow. That is the curve. It is given like this. Which means we need to find this much amount of rotation. So we can place a protector like this. And when we measure it, we see it's somewhat 103 degrees. PTW is 103 degrees. That's an obtuse angle. Okay. So this one here is 30. This one is 60. And this angle here is 103 degrees. Next is dangle WTP. Now let's check the arrow how it is given. It is starting from here and it is going like this. And here is the arrowhead. That means we need to find out this amount of rotation. And this is a reflex angle. See starting from here and it is going like this. So this is the amount of rotation. 
So to find out the reflex angle, we know this is a complete angle and we also know this measure, okay, this measure. So what we can do is 360 degrees, that is complete angle minus this obtuse angle, 103 degrees and that is 257 degrees and that's the reflex angle. I hope this is clear. We already know this measure P. T W which is 103. We need to find out this angle. So 360 minus 103 is 257 degrees. So these were the two questions of figure it out. Next we have one question as let's explore. Let's do that as well. Here this is a figure given and we can see from the figure that angle S E R is 90 degrees. T E R is 80 degrees. We need to find out angle B E T, B E T and angle S E T, S E T. So first let's find out angle S E T. For this you don't need to measure it, you can just do subtraction. So this angle here is 90 degrees, right? This full thing is 90 and this is 80. We are trying to find out this angle here, S E T. So 90 degrees minus 80 degrees that is 10 degrees. So this angle here is 10 degrees. Okay. Now angle B E T. Angle B E T is this angle here. That is angle B E S plus angle S E T. Right. Now what is B E S? Since this is 90 degrees, this is also 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees and this is 10 degrees, which means 90 degrees plus 10 degrees is equal to 100 degrees. Okay. So, SET is 10 degrees and BET is 100 degrees. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.